<laughs> I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just looking at these masters of evolutionary defense and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How do you stop onions from making you cry? Well, that's a super awesome question. I'm thinking, try this. Ow, ow, ow. You will need a stinky, smelly, disgusting onion and an adult. Okay, you and I are animals. So if danger comes around, we can either stick around and put up a good fight. <laughs> or in a case of bees, we can make a bee line out of there. <laughs> oh, there's a bee! Plants can't move. They're stuck wherever their roots take hold. So wherever they are, they have to stick around and use weapons as mass deflection. Ha <laughs> ha! Weapons as mass deflection. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! Oh, okay. Okay. Grab yourself a stinky, smelly, disgusting onion. And you are going to put your onion in the freezer for five to ten minutes. Okay, grab your onion from the freezer, and now you are safely going to cut the onion, and then give it a sniff. So, why does a stinky, smelly onion make you cry anyway? And how does freezing the onion stop it from making you cry? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look. At this! Some plants, like onions, use different gases to stop animals from eating them. Onions absorb sulfur from the ground, creating sulfur oxides. When you cut an onion, you break cells, releasing the cell's content. Enzymes that were separate mix with the sulfur oxides to produce propanethoil. This gas reacts with water on your eyes to form a weak sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid burns your eyes, causing a reflex action to remove the irritant. Freezing the onion stops the chemicals from mixing. Other plants, such as hot peppers, use just plain oils, such as capsaicinoids, that are released when the cells are broken from the animal's chewing. Capsaicinoids bind with the pain receptors in the mouth and throat, sending a signal to the brain that says something hot has just been eaten. Yet other plants, such as roses, don't use chemicals or gases, but rather evolve sections of plant parts, such as branches with thorns, leaves with spines, and even epidermal cells forming prickles. So now you know why plants use mechanisms to stop animals from getting to them. You know, stopping onions from making you cry is why science is so cool. <laughs>